Hello and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to take a look at Mega Diancy in the Open Master League. Usually I'm going to tell my opponent's prayer that I'm using a Mega Pokemon, but this time around I didn't do it, mainly because my Diancy is not completely fully maxed out yet, because I'm going to wait for the Global Go Fest. I should be getting another Diancy and if it's going to be good IVs, I might even gonna fully power it up to level 50, but we have to see about this one. But yeah, first game here, we're going to have already a great lead with the Groudon against our Kyogre. We're going to have the Dialga as our Seisop here, but here we're going to get, be able to get a shield from the opponent, as well as it can still go ahead, go for the Draco Media, do a ton of damage, and force the opponent to throw another charge move here. This is prime territory for our good friend Diancy in the back that will be able to now battle against this Togekiss, and you see already the damage output of a Rock Throw is insane and this is not even fully XL, like not even close to being fully XL, not even level 40 because I use it for the Ultra League. This is my Ultra League variant that I already showcased on my channel as well, but that is kinda wild. Let's take a look at the next game. We're going to have Kyogre against Giratina, a horrible lead for us, so we're gonna swap out into our weaker answer, which is going to be the Diancy as you're gonna get out the Zacian. Look at the damage output against Zacian. This Pokemon is an insane glass cannon. Like honestly, Diancy loses a little bit of bulk, by the way, for the Mega Evolution, but gains a ton of damage output, which is very interesting. But here we see Close Combat does so much damage back to us. So we're going to see that the opponent actually going to lag out here right now, but we still saw how much this Pokemon can take and also how much it can deal. But what we're also going to see here, that's why I have it in as well, the opponent going to now swap into their final Pokemon. Of course, for them, the game lagged, but the final Pokemon going to be, funnily enough, their own Diancy. And this Pokemon has actually 3050 CP, which means it's a fully maxed out Pokemon, so the opponent actually has it. So if you watch that, um, feel free to send in some battles if you play some Master League battles for this Pokemon, because I'm actually curious of this going to be very decent, because Diancy is actually uh, having a very decent typing for this meta, as there are Pokemon like Eveltal, which gets completely hardwalled by this Pokemon, as there are Pokemon like Lugia, which completely gets hardwalled by this Pokemon, and of course, the normal variant has a little bit more bulk, while this variant is a little bit more attack rated and of course also not allowed in the normal Master League meta, unless we're gonna get back the Mega Master League, which has been around before, but um, because there currently is still a glitch going on, I don't think that we're gonna get it back anytime soon. But yeah, here we want to now actually encounter the uh, um, Shadow Tyranitar, which I'm most likely going to release a video about as well. In the next few days, I already made the video basically, so I just have to see when I'm going to release it. But yeah, Mega like the Shadow Tyranitar, very cool Pokemon. As my opponent going to decide to forfeit this battle. Let's take a look at the next battle. Upcoming here going to be Kyogre against a Ho. -Oh. Great one here, but I kind of want to have the Ho -Oh, of course against our. Um, Diancy in the back is gonna get out now the Zacian from the opponent, which will go ahead and go for a charge move fairly early. This is going to be a wild charge, allowing us now to just one shot them with the surf of their letters at least. And we're going to be able to also realign for sure here right now, as long as I'm going to use a shield. I should be able to farm down afterwards as the waterfall damage is just adding up so much here. And now we will find out what we see in the back. It's going to be the Ho again, allowing us to get the final shield with an origin pull from the Kyogre and now it is time for our Diancy to clean up this game. We will see the Rock Throw coming through here right now and doing a ton of damage but we can also take any charge move via Diancy. Like the typing itself is a hard counter to so many Pokemon in the um, Open Master League right now which is kind of funny because yeah hard counter to Ho, hard counter to Lugia, hard counter to a lot of different Pokemon. So if we ever get the Mega Master League back, it might be actually an interesting pick, but also we kind of would like to see a better fast move on this Pokemon. And also, like, Diancy actually would learn a um, signature move, which is, I think, called Diamond Storm, which is um, having, I think, a chance, I don't think it's guaranteed, by, uh, I think, a 50% chance to buff its own defense stat by two stages, which might be a very interesting move as soon as it comes into the game, and might be also interesting for the Master League than for the normal variant, if like a double defense boosting a move might be actually really, really strong to have for this Pokemon, so really depends on it, but we will find out when we're gonna see this one. Next one here, we're going to have a great lead in the Landorus. We have to still go for a charge move as the opponent would get to a super power in time, and they're actually going to force a shield from me as well as they want to go ahead and go and get their super power off still. 
which is fine for us. As in comes now the Eveltal, which will have to take in Origin Pulse. At least that's what I thought is they're going to now use a shield here. And I think this was actually a matchup where the game bugged a little bit for me. At least I felt like I got a, an unfair treatment, but I think it, I think this is game. Let's find out. We're going to have the Eveltal and you're going to see the swap into the Metagross. Exactly, this, this game here, you saw already the damage output from Metagross against us, which was wild. I can count now the moves from the opponent. I know that this can be an Earthquake, but just a Media Mesh. Now I count to seven because it's exactly what they need to get to the Earthquake. And you see me going for the Draco Media. You see me clock, click on it and I still don't get the move of our Lucy MP here, which does not make any sense at all because, because they have a one turn fast move where like it doesn't matter when you click like you cannot be like stuck in an animation if it's a one turn fast move so like this i'm going to lose this battle i would have easily been able to win this one otherwise but that's the game for you right now i feel like there's a lot of inconsistency recently again but um yeah we're just gonna go into like the fourth year now of go Battle league or something who cares? Let's see. Here we're going to have here in the next game. We're going to have a Kyogre against us in the lead. This is not ideal because we are not running Thunder. Maybe the opponent runs Thunder, so I'm going to just predict that and swap out into my Dialga. And this move does basically no damage here. So you're going to get out the opponent's Ho-Oh. And I make a questionable play here by going for a shield. I could just let this move go through, farm them down with my Diancy and have a great time. But I'm going to use a shield here, hoping that my opponent uses a shield against me as well, thinking that I'm weak against ho -Oh in the back. But they're going to actually shield up this Iron Head, which is nice. And hopefully they shield up this move as well. Let's find out shortly here. They do not. And now it's going to be a little bit of a tough one, because I don't get a lot of farm with any of my Pokemon. But if they both um, going to knock them out with like one fast move there alone. So I'm forced to go ahead and go now for an Origin Pulse against the Dialga. Dialga does not do a lot of fast move damage against my Diancy, while uh, the charge move damage is the issue. While against my Kyogre, it's exactly the opposite way. The fast move does a ton of damage, while the charge move doesn't. So here, we're actually still going to be able to get a shield from the opponent's Kyogre because I swapped it in. Now my only hope is that I can shield up this move. It's going to be a Thunder, hopefully. And I will be able to farm on the opponent's um, Kyogre here. And I have my Origin Pulse and I just have to hope and pray that one Origin Pulse is enough to knock out the opponent's Dialga from this range. I don't know about this yet. It's going to be a very, very close, but it is going to be enough and we can say goodbye to that Dialga. Good game there. Let's take a look at the next game. We're going to have Kyogre against Dialga again. This is not really ideal for us, but we kind of are forced to stay in here and... I will be able to maybe get an advantage here, either shield or switch advantage. I feel like this was very fast. It's most likely an iron hat and it is just an iron hat. So we were able to call the bait here. And speaking of calling the bait, let's see if the opponent calls the blizzard bait here from me. They do not and they're going to shield up this move, allowing me to go for another surf, allowing me to get them lower and also allowing me to put them into a range where I can easily farm down with my own Dialga allowing me to even get more energy and getting me basically closer to a next charge move for whatever wants to come in against us. And even a steel type doesn't really want to come in against a Dialga. But the Lugia, take a look at the damage output of our Mega Diancy. It is a wild, like we just farmed him down to half health. This is a fully XL Lugia, the bulkiest Pokemon currently available for the um, Open Master League and it still just takes so much damage from it, which is kind of wild. But it also goes the other way around as the sky attacked it more than I ever expected as it resisted. But we're gonna get out now the Kyogre and we're going to have a very decent time here actually. We're going to have our Dialga still alive and our Dialga will be able to still go ahead and go just for Iron Heads at this point of time as we got the opponent already fairly low here with just the Dragon Breath. And we will see now the swap out into their own Dialga didn't work out. We have two Iron Heads stored so I can go for my first one here right now into their fast move animation and I can go for another one into their fast move animation here as well. So this is going to be a good game as Iron Head is going to be all it takes to knock them out. Okay, one more fast move, but that's going to be all right. Let's take a look at the next game coming up here right now, which is going to be um, an interesting one as well because they're going to get hard counted in the lead. We're going to have a Ray Crazer in the lead, which is not really ideal for us, but we can swap out into our Dialga and we're going to get out the Solgaleo. I don't like this Pokemon. I just really don't like to play against this Pokemon, but we are going to have to try to play with this one here right now. Psychic Fangs comes through, we're going to get the debuff onto our defense, and we're going to have to take another one here right now, 
which is going to be fine because I can at least still go ahead and go for the Iron Head. And I feel like I played this perfect here right now because I'm going to be able to get some damage here onto them, but I still barely reach the final charge move here in time. This was literally like half a second before I would go down. Like this, I'm going to be able to get a shield advantage right now, but also I'm going to be able to get an energy advantage with my Kyogre while getting also out the hardest answer for our Diancie in the back. So this is looking fairly decent for us. I'm going to swap out immediately though now after the opponent saw Galeo goes down as I expect that they're gonna go back into their Dragon type Pokemon Rayquaza. So we will find out what they're going to have in the back but only after a breaking swipe where they somehow denied my fast move. I think I should have gotten a free one through but it's, it's not going to be okay as they're going to face a Flodges in the back. An interesting Pokemon that you don't see all the time but even though we're debuffed our fast move damage is still insane against the opponent. And um, yeah, we're going to be able to go for another Moonblast here that's going to do some fairly decent damage against them, but they're going to use a shield against my Moonblast, so now we're kind of energy dry, but I'm still going to use my shield to knock them out, and I make a small mistake here, but actually it's fine. I expect the opponent at this point of time, of course, to swap out into their Rayquaza, but they don't. They stay in here, and I'm fairly certain that they would be able to swap out at this point of time already, as I went just for a charge move, but they didn't, and now... It's their Rayquaza farming me down, but it's also my Diancy winning us this game with a rock side for the win. Good game there. Diancy easily going to be able to knock out Rayquaza again and another Pokemon hard counters. It is just wild how strong this Pokemon is against a lot of different matchups. Let's take a look at the final game for today. As we're going to have now the Giratina swapping in against us with a Mammoth Spine in the lead. I'm going to use a shield against Giratina here as this allows me to get more energy as well as keeping my Dialga healthy is always kind of nice. We will be able to just go ahead and go for a charge move here to knock out the opponent's Giratina as his Iron Head is all we need to knock them out. And we're gonna get out now most likely the Mammoth Swine again as it does want to avoid our Kyogre. We will see the Mammoth Swine coming out. I can go for the Iron Head in time and like this the opponent going to be already in, at an Avalanche but they most likely want to get up to a high horsepower at this point. So I'm going to try to catch the move onto my Kyogre and it works out so well. Is it a high horsepower? Is it even an avalanche? It is just the avalanche allowing us to take this move super easy and we're gonna get out the Reshiram. I will be able to reach a surf in time. Of course, this is also an amazing matchup for Diancy. So honestly, I really, really want to build my um, Diancy they have right now, but I might not fully XL it immediately and just keep enough XL candy for another myth mythical Pokemon that maybe comes in, in the future because I really would like to build either Arceus or um, my Shadow would be a really cool one, or Zara Aura for the Master League, and I definitely want to keep my Rex Alkinis for that. But this is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to leave a like, and I'll see you then. Bye bye.